Chapter 1 1. The World of Reincarnation, The Beginning of Everything You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 1 Chapter 1, The World of Reincarnation, The Beginning of Everything Chapter 1, The World of Reincarnation, The Beginning of Everything Dear students, have you all memorized the rules of reincarnation? On the reincarnation square, a middle-aged man wearing glasses swept his gaze across the faces of the young men and women before finally stopping on one person. He Chuan, recited once. He Chuan took a step forward and walked out of the crowd. Under everyone's gaze, he pondered for a while before replying. The four main points of the reincarnation rules. 1. No matter how many years you spend in the reincarnation world, the time flow in the main world will always be fixed at 168 hours. You don't have to worry that things will change after coming back from reincarnation. 2. Any performance of a reincarnator in the course of their life will affect the evaluation points. Under normal circumstances, the higher the achievement of the character in the world, and the more exciting the life, the more evaluation points will be obtained, and the rewards will be more generous. 3. The reincarnator can use temporary talents purchased. The specifications are not limited, but the first time of reincarnation can only use one. If the reincarnator carries multiple temporary talents without permission to reduce the difficulty of the reincarnation, the evaluation points will be cancelled. 4. This is the last and most important point. Under any circumstances, you are forbidden to reveal your identity as a reincarnator to the people of the reincarnated world in any form as he Chuan spoke, he looked at the crowd, if you violate these points, it may lead to an irreversible disaster. All the responsibility will be borne by you personally. Very good. The teacher nodded in satisfaction. He Chuan had always been the best student in his class, and as expected, he did not disappoint him. The rules of reincarnation had only been issued for a few minutes, but he had already easily picked out the core part. This observation ability could not be found among all the students in the school. He was definitely a top student. It was a pity. This was a reincarnation world. Scores did not mean anything. Only reincarnators were the true rulers of this world. Everyone had the chance to become a reincarnator. Through the first time of temporary reincarnation opportunity that they received when they become adults, they received the reincarnator seal. With the help of the reincarnation square, they could enter all kinds of strange worlds and play the specially designated role of a background character. Every action of the temporary reincarnator in the world would affect the final evaluation point. The evaluation point determined the system rating when leaving the reincarnation world. Only those who had reached grade B and above could become eternal reincarnators and continue to grow. Reincarnators possessed abnormally powerful powers. Only they could withstand the strange creatures of this world. It was exactly because of this that reincarnators were the most dazzling existences in this world. Even if they had done something heinous, even if they had killed an entire town of ordinary people, the ordinary courts were not qualified to judge them. They stood at the top of the pyramid, detached from everything else. Right now, the hundreds of students in front of him were facing the challenge of the reincarnation assessment. For ordinary people, this was their only chance. It was easy to get, but was not easy to grasp. In the eyes of the teachers. Even He Chuan, who had a lot of theoretical knowledge, would find it difficult to get high marks. This was because knowledge was of limited help in the reincarnation world. Without the help of a family background, the chances of passing the assessment were very slim. How much help would the temporary talent provide? For example, those who could change the reincarnation's pattern, such as, born in a wealthy family, or, gifted in cultivation. Or those who gave more opportunities, such as, reincarnated once in the reincarnated world without being forced back to the main world, or, reset the reincarnated world. As long as they had it in their hands, even if they ran into a world with top difficulty, there was still a possibility of achieving a B grade. However, the prices of these talents were too expensive. It was simply not something that a child from a poor family like Hichuan could afford. 
even the teacher dot in dot charge could see what would happen to such an outstanding student in the future. Driven by the enslavement of the reincarnators, their status was even inferior to that of their pet dogs. They worked hard for daily necessities and earned a meager amount of money. This was the only outcome, there was no other way out. After all, in a place where there were no moral and legal restrictions, ordinary people could only cower in the darkest corner and struggle for their lives. It could be said that this reincarnation determined their future. He could not help but sigh. Although he did not want to see his students end up like that, this was the survival law of the world, and he could not change anything. The homeroom teacher shook his head and said, Everyone has heard what He Chuan said. You should all know what to do and what not to do in your first reincarnation, right? Understand. Several hundred people said in unison. The homeroom teacher placed his hands behind his back and looked at a huge aqua blue ball in the middle of the square. He said softly, since that's the case, then everyone should prepare to go. As soon as she finished speaking, hundreds of people left one after another. He Chuan and everyone else arrived outside the reincarnation square and placed their palms on the huge ball of light. The aqua blue ball of light immediately shot out a dazzling ray of light and wrapped around his body. The reincarnation seal on his body resonated, and an empty voice sounded in his mind. Retrieving Target's Identity Connecting with the characters of the reincarnation world Connected successfully the world you are about to descend into is Parallel City. Do you want to receive the background information? Am I so lucky? He Chuan had never expected that he would be reincarnated into such a world. According to the knowledge he had learned from school, Parallel City, Parallel Ancient Times, and the martial arts continent were the least difficult ones. They usually didn't have particularly high power systems. Whether it was technology or martial arts, their best strength was very limited. A level higher one, such as spiritual energy recovery world supernatural ability awakening world, could easily destroy any medium-level reincarnators by sending these lower-tier civilians. Other than that, the more difficult worlds were the fantasy and immortal cultivation worlds. Here, the cultivators who had reached the peak of perfection were able to break away from the shackles of the native planets, grasp all kinds of laws, shatter the void, and explore unknown secrets. The primitive society could also belong to this category. It was more special and did not have a fixed difficulty. The primitive society in the cities was the primitive people. The difficulty was also very low. However, if it was the primitive society in the fantasy world, it would be a fight between immortals. After all, this was the period when the power of heaven and earth was at its peak. No matter how bad one's talent was, they would still be filled with the energy in the air and become a powerhouse. The difficulty would be raised to the maximum. Living in such a world, one would have to worry about whether there would be any big shots fighting over resources outside even if they went to the toilet. The aftershocks of the battle would shock one to death. However, this wasn't the most difficult part. The ultimate difficulty of this world was the terrifying recovery world that could cross dimensions, as well as the futuristic world where science and technology had developed to the extreme. These two worlds each had their own unique characteristics. The only similarity was that the difficulty was unimaginable. The knowledge recorded in the books was very little, and only a brief overview was used. The four types of difficulty were all dot-encompassing, and if broken down, there were probably tens of thousands of them. To be able to randomly arrive at a parallel city world was really lucky to the point of exploding. Refers to type of story that have a main protagonist with supernatural ability or powerful cultivation. Refers to story like awakening and ability in apocalypse world and such. Chapter 2 2. Self.esteem You are listening at Novel Full.audio. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Self.esteem Chapter 2. Self.esteem Even though He Chuan was very lucky, he did not feel proud and complacent. He still decided to be down to earth and first understand the background of the world. Receive. Exporting data. Waiting for verification. 
Verification complete. Please take a look. He Chuan immediately read it carefully. The world's background was very long, and the content was also very extensive. From astronomy and geography to laws and regulations, it was incredibly complete. After reading through all of this information, He Chuan came back to his senses. He already had a preliminary understanding of the world he was about to reincarnate into. However, at the moment, he did not know what role he was going to play and what family background he will have, so he did not have any plans. The other students had already gone to buy temporary talents. This was a huge help. Sometimes, when one was reincarnated, there was a slight difference in the evaluation points, and when the calculation was done, the evaluation level could be raised to another level. It was possible that those who could not pass the assessment would be able to reincarnate it successfully. Unfortunately, he did not have the money. So he did not think about it. When the homeroom teacher saw that He Chuan was the first to return, he could not help but ask. He Chuan, why are you back so soon? You didn't buy a temporary talent. He Chuan shook his head, talent is too expensive, I can't afford it. My family still has to leave some money for food. This was an expected answer. The homeroom teacher sighed. He originally thought that the He Chuan family would sell everything they had to fight for a glimmer of hope for this only son to be reincarnated. He did not expect his family to be so poor. Then do you know which world you would be reincarnated to? Yes, my luck is good. It's Parallel City. City. The homeroom teacher raised his eyebrows in surprise. He did not expect that the best student in his class would meet the simplest one among the tens of thousands of worlds with different difficulty levels. In this way, the probability of success in reincarnation was much higher. He weighed the pros and cons and finally took out a silver card from his pocket and handed it over. There are ten reincarnation points in here. Although it's not much. Take it and buy a talent for yourself. Reincarnation points were the currency of this world. Whether it was among the reincarnators or in the market for ordinary people, it could be used. The current exchange rate for one reincarnation point was nine gold coins. One gold coin could probably cover the expenses of an ordinary family of three for three months. From this, it could be seen how valuable these ten reincarnation points were. After all, the reward for obtaining a grade D reincarnation evaluation was only a few dozen reincarnation points. He Chuan felt a surge of warmth in his heart. The homeroom teacher had already taken quite good care of him to be able to take out such a portion. But he did not take it. He stubbornly shook his head and said, Teacher, I want to pass the evaluation with my own efforts. Sigh. You child. The homeroom teacher sighed again and did not insist. Noel Daren he knew He Chuan's character. He was like a stubborn donkey, not to mention that he was especially self-reliant. If he said that he did not want it, it was definitely not because he was embarrassed, but because he really did not want it. Just leave it like that. The homeroom teacher felt that it was not possible. Regardless of whether it was for He Chuan or for himself, this favor was very necessary. Once He Chuan became a reincarnator in the future, he would definitely remember this favor. So, why not? It would be a short dot term investment. It would be a piece of cake. But how could he make him accept it? After thinking carefully for a while, he got an idea. A young and inexperienced young man like He Chuan would definitely not know how to reject a girl. He just needed to find an outstanding dot looking female student, pretend to have a crush on He Chuan, and help give him the reincarnation point. Most importantly, if He Chuan really succeeded in reincarnation and his status rose, this fake crush might even turn into a crush that he admired. Who knows, it might even become a marriage. Killing two birds with one stone. The homeroom teacher felt that his plan was perfect. Once he thought of it, he immediately do it. He took out another card worth 50 reincarnation points from his wallet and immediately began to act. Not long after. 
the students in the class returned one after another. Most of them were sighing with complicated expressions. It was estimated that the world they were going to be reincarnated in was very difficult. Even if they had a temporary talent, they would not have much confidence in passing the test. Only a few people had smiles on their faces. During the conversation, they proudly revealed the place where they were about to be reincarnated. They were two parallel cities and a martial arts continent. Many people were very envious of them. They were trying to get closer to them at this time. They thought that if they didn't become reincarnators within an hour, they could still cling to them. He Chuan was the only one who didn't feel sad or happy. He stood on the side and watched everything quietly. This was a cruel game of survival of the fittest. Even at the lowest level world, the probability of passing the assessment was still less than 1 in 10,000. There was no point in fawning over others now. He had no interest in doing such a thing. At this moment, an announcement came from above the square. All examinees of the class, please enter the reincarnation square in an orderly manner. Students, please carry the reincarnation seal with you and open the assessment yourself. He Chuan clenched his fists slightly. The assessment had begun. The homeroom teacher rushed over at this moment. After wiping the sweat off his forehead, he said, Everyone, you heard it. Students who have prepared their temporary talents can begin their reincarnation. Regardless of whether you can pass the assessment, as long as you do your best and don't leave any regrets, it's good enough. These words sounded invigorating, and everyone was eager to give it a try. Although the probability of passing the exam was very low, who wouldn't feel that they were the lucky ones? Hundreds of people left the scene one after another. He Chuan was about to go over to reincarnate when he was suddenly stopped by the homeroom teacher. He Chuan, wait a moment. He Chuan turned around in confusion, what's the matter, teacher? There's a girl waiting for you over there. She said that she has something to say to you. The homeroom teacher revealed an ambiguous smile and pointed in a direction, there's no one around. You can have a good chat with her. You don't have to hurry about reincarnating. I understand. He Chuan nodded and walked over according to the homeroom teacher's instructions. When he got closer, he realized that there was a girl standing there with outstanding looks and beautiful clothes. When He Chuan came over, his cold eyes only glanced at her from the corner of his eyes. Then, there was a hint of contempt in his eyes. Teacher said you were looking for me, He Chuan's voice was calm. What's the matter? He Chuan, right. In order to protect your poor self. Esteem, your teacher asked me to pretend to be a secret admirer and give you 50 reincarnation points. The girl held a silver card between her fingers and waved it in front of him, revealing a sarcastic smile, however, how can a commoner like you be worthy of such a big fortune? It's impossible for you to pass even if you buy a temporary talent. He Chuan was expressionless, so. So, these reincarnation points should be used on people who are more suitable for it. The girl put the card into her bag, as for whether you want to tell your teacher about this, I don't care. When I become a reincarnator, he will know who is the most correct choice. With that, she threw two gold coins on the ground. The girl's attitude was arrogant and unquestionable, now it's a deal. I'll buy this card with money. It's more suitable for you to have a few days of a carefree life with them, you poor idiot. He Chuan didn't even look at it. Without hesitation, he turned his head and walked toward the reincarnation square. What a nut! Chapter 3 3, First Reincarnation, 20 Years of Lifespan You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Chapter 3, First Reincarnation, 20 Years of Lifespan Chapter 3, First Reincarnation, 20 Years of Lifespan Although two gold coins were a lot, compared to the reincarnation point, they were insignificant. This was a daylight robbery. Good. Looking doesn't mean good. Hearted. This is the kind of person that they called a beast in human form. He Chuan silently clenched his fists. Looking at her expensive clothes, she would actually rob a poor person like him. 
No, it was inappropriate. To be more precise, it was forcibly seizing. Although he didn't intend to accept the gift from his teacher, it didn't mean that he didn't care. It would be a lie to say that he wasn't angry at such behavior. But there was nothing he could do about it. Judging from the girl's gorgeous clothes, she must have been born into a rich family and had a certain background. This was a world where the strong preyed on the weak. Let alone possessing the things of the weak, even if the strong killed the weak, no one would spare a second glance. I must become stronger to prevent such a thing from happening again. He Chuan shook his head and took a deep breath. He did not take this small episode to heart anymore. Although he was not afraid of facing the darkness of this world, the most important thing for him at the moment was still the reincarnation assessment. There was no need to waste time on such a thing. He came to the reincarnation platform again and touched the light ball. This time, what appeared in He Chuan's mind was no longer the world's information, but the question of whether he wanted to undergo reincarnation. Yes. He did not hesitate. Then, with a flash of light, He Chuan was engulfed by the endless light and the world spun. He felt as if he had fallen into the air, like a lone boat floating in the sea, drifting with the waves. After a long time, accompanied by a cry, he opened his eyes and found himself in a place that looked like a hospital. Envy. Next to him was warm skin. When he looked up, he saw a young and beautiful woman hugging him and looking at him with a loving gaze. Hints related to reincarnation appeared in his mind. Character background You were born into a well. off family. You were diagnosed with some strange disease by the hospital. The activity of brain cells is dozens of times more than normal people, but your body will fall into intermittent paralysis due to various complicated reasons. The present medical level is unable to treat it. According to experts, due to the limited number of brain cells, you will not live past the age of 20 due to the premature and large consumption of highly active brain cells. This disease was named after you. The first patient with E-Clan syndrome appeared in this world. Your family did not treat you badly for this reason. Instead, they gave you double the care and care. Dot. He Chuan blinked his eyes. As expected of the reincarnation test. Even if it was the world with the lowest difficulty, it would still give you a hellish start. You won't live past 20 years old. What kind of concept was this? This meant that if He Chuan wanted to increase his score, he had to have some achievements before the age of 20. If he wanted to reach B class, he had to be worth at least a few hundred million and have a certain social status. In this era where people were about to turn 30 after finishing university, it seemed a little unrealistic. He had a headache because of this. While you were thinking about what you should do in the future, you awakened the deduction system. System. He Chuan was not unfamiliar with this concept and quickly understood it. The introduction of this system was very simple. It could deduce the direction of all things. The specific application was also very simple. When the young woman in front of him lifted up her shirt and carried him in front of her, He Chuan had a thought, and the corresponding notification appeared in front of him. You accept breast milk. Receive sufficient nutrition, no accidents happen. You reject breast milk. Due to the mother's lack of experience, resulting in the mother did not deal with the increased amount of breast milk in time, it eventually led to a series of diseases, leaving behind irreversible consequences. He Chuan's eyes lit up slightly. Divination. This was equivalent to being a seer, allowing him to know and advance the outcome of his decision. There was nothing much to say, he could completely change his fate at the crucial moment. Even if it was compared to top-tier temporary talent, it was not inferior at all. However, he was not complacent because of this. The system's ability could be big or small, but the specific effects would still depend on how he uses them. If he did not have a good plan for the future, this lifespan of less than 20 years would still be the biggest stumbling block in this assessment. I must find a cure for this disease. He Chuan set a goal in his heart. However, 
he still had to live the life in front of him now and play the role of a good baby. As the warm breast milk fell into his stomach along his esophagus, he chuan gradually fell into sleep. Children were generally lethargic. Not long after, his mother was discharged from the hospital and brought him home with his father, starting a peaceful life. He chuan slept for 18 hours a day. Usually, during his waking hours, he would constantly use the deduction system to explore the potential of his body. You tried to walk, but your bones were too soft to bear the weight of your body, so you broke your bones. You crawled carefully and paid attention to the ratio of the force applied to your hands and feet as you moved. You successfully moved a small distance. You tried to speak, but because your vocal cords were not fully developed, you failed. After repeated deductions, He Chuan grew very quickly as an infant. As time passed, the couple gradually discovered the uniqueness of their child. Their baby never cried. And a few days after birth, he could use his limbs to crawl for a short distance. Life was very regular. Every four hours, he would crawl to his mother's side, pick up his shirt with his little hands, and suck milk to feed himself. He was very sensible, more disciplined than an adult, and even knew how to comfort others' emotions. Sometimes he would wake his parents in their sleep at night and act cute with pitiful eyes. A few months later, the child was even more reassuring. He was able to take care of his own daily life at this time. He could even communicate fluently with adults in complete sentences, and he would say whatever he needed in advance without causing trouble for his family. Compared to babies his age who were still learning about the colors and sounds of the world, he had already begun to explore the world with his parents. This kind of advanced behavior made the baby's parents very surprised. They could not help but take little He Chuan to the hospital. This examination was incredible. The doctor found that little He Chuan's brain was different from normal people's. The activity level was dozens of times higher than normal people. The reason why he could walk and speak faster than a child his age was because of this reason. His brain activity was high enough, and his learning efficiency also increased. When the parents heard this, they were extremely happy. They thought that their child had extraordinary talent. Perhaps if they nurtured him carefully, he could become the next Einstein. Chapter 4 4. Little Genius Grand Dreams You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4 Chapter 4, Little Genius, Grand Dreams Chapter 4, Little Genius, Grand Dreams Therefore, in the future, they would take care of Little He Chuan more, and they would try their best to satisfy any request. When he was one year old, under continuous deductions, He Chuan was able to talk and sang. He completed the transformation from crawling to running and began to expand his range of activities. Two years later, he became a famous little genius in the community. He displayed extremely outstanding talent in chess and mathematics. He defeated all the old men and primary school students in the community, there was no match for him. In terms of mathematics, it was not a big deal. The best result was that he solved a junior high school dot level mathematical Olympiad question after reading the question. His opponent was a sixth dot grade top student, also a little genius. He was only a few seconds slower than He Chuan to get the answer. Even though there was a difference of nine years in age, this result was obviously unworthy of He Chuan's brain cells, which were dozens of times more active. After all, his lifespan was only 20 years. Three years was equivalent to one dot seventh of his life. However, he was truly invincible in chess. No matter what kind of chess game he played, no matter how many people played against him, it was an instant kill. That's right, instant kill. Usually, other people would spend tens of seconds or even a few minutes thinking about their next move. In his hands, it was a one dot second move without any hesitation. Moreover, his style was fierce. Every move was a hidden killer move. As long as the opponent was slightly careless, they would lose. In the community, there was once a retired professional chess player who played a game with little He Chuan. In the end, he admitted defeat in less than two minutes and said that he would never play chess again, 
which shocked everyone. It was hard to imagine that a three-year-old could do such a thing. It was also at this time that a message appeared from Hichuan's reincarnation seal. Life experience increased, evaluation points increased. I didn't expect there to be unexpected gains. He Chuan's original intention was to familiarize himself with the application of the deduction system. In the end, he obtained the evaluation points by accident. However, there was a price to pay for this process. Every time he overused his brain, his body would experience a small amount of discomfort. At first, only a portion of his fingers was numb and could not be controlled. After a few months, it became that his entire palm had lost consciousness. Fortunately, he would recover after resting for a while. It seemed that this illness was not particularly torturous. At present, his achievements were still very few. He had to continue working hard. The deduction system should not be used only for trial and error. This was the experience he Chuan gained after repeatedly deducing. His highly active brain cells could have the multi-threaded computing ability like a computer. At the same time, he could analyze countless possibilities. If he added the trial dot and dot error function of the system, he could think of a way to combine them. Perhaps it would have a good effect on knowledge learning. He Chuan was a man of action. It was also from this time that he often begged his parents to take him to the library to read and study. Originally, the young couple did not intend to agree. No matter how smart their child was, it was impossible for him to understand words without going to school, right? After all, speaking and reading were two different things. Moreover, they were also busy with work and could not spare time. In the end, He Chuan did something that everyone did not expect. He actually ran away from home and left the community alone one morning. When his parents came home from work in the afternoon and did not find their child, they were terrified. Fortunately, there was a note on the desk with an address written on it. It's time to lock this brat in the kindergarten. Let the teacher keep an eye on him. Father he crumpled the note into a ball and threw it into the trash bin next to him. At first, he thought that this child was a relief, but now it seemed that he was the most worrisome. Mother he didn't say anything. She quickly put on her shoes and went out to take a taxi. When the two of them found He Chuan in the corner of the library reading a medical book on the field of brain cells, they were both angry and shocked. How could a three-year-old kid do such a thing? It was one thing if he dared to go out alone, but he ran out just to come to the library to read. What was even more ridiculous was that he was not reading a comic, but a professional book that most people could only understand the words but could not understand the meaning. At first, they thought He Chuan was just reading for fun. However, when the couple got closer and saw the paper filled with fine drafts on the table next to them, they became confused again. What are these symbols? Can someone explain? Are they copied or scribbled? He Chuan noticed his parents coming and smiled at them cutely. Then, he raised the two thick books with great difficulty. Dad, Mom, I want to borrow these two books to read at home. Is that okay? Father he pretended to be angry, you still have the nerve to smile. Do you know how worried we are when you run out by yourself? Don't be angry at him. Mother he glared at him and turned to hug He Chuan. She said gently, Baby, don't do this next time, understand? It's very dangerous. He Chuan nodded his head vigorously and decided not to leave any notes next time. He would read them secretly. If he told his parents that he was really reading these books, they would definitely not believe him. After all, even an adult would not be able to read these highly specialized books. However, He Chuan was different. He had a system. By using deduction to verify the various theories in the books, not only would the accuracy be guaranteed, but the deduction process would also appear in his mind, so much so that it would become a point of knowledge that could be absorbed. His learning efficiency was extremely fast. The brain cells that were active enough could also record all these things, allowing him to draw multiple inferences from one example. 
However, a deduction was ultimately just deduction. Medical research always had to be combined with clinical experiments. He Chuan soon fell into a bottleneck. He needed to do experiments to assist in verification. Moreover, as he gained more knowledge, there would be more and more such experiments. But how could medical experiments be done at will? Not only did they need extremely expensive equipment, they also needed a large amount of precious materials. At present, only the world's top scientific research institutions had such conditions. It seems that I have to find a way to enter the top institutions at the age of 10. Oh no, if I can, I have to enter the top institutions earlier. He Chuan silently clenched his fists. He was now racing against time. He had to learn by himself in the limited time he had, and make a name for himself. It was too difficult. Even with the system, he was not 100% sure. The two parents did not know that their baby had a grand idea in his head and was planning to take him home. At this moment, an old man suddenly came over. Excuse me, sir and madam. Chapter 5 5. I want to skip grades. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 Chapter 5, I want to skip grades. Chapter 5, I want to skip grades. Father he sized him up. This person looked kind, and there was a gentle and amiable feeling between his brows. He looked like a person who had taught for many years. He couldn't help but ask in a gentle tone, What's the matter, sir? I'm a professor at Concord Medical School. You must be this child's father. The old man smiled gently and said, I don't mean any harm. I just want to know who wrote the things on the paper on the table. The child just randomly drew them, why? Father he was a little confused. The old man was stunned for a moment. He looked at He Chuan in disbelief. It was. Written by the child. It wasn't taught by you. He confirmed again. I can't even understand these things, how can I teach it? Father he pinched He Chuan's little face, baby, what did you write again? Nothing. I just saw the unsolved problems in the book and the hypothesis put forward by the original author. I felt that he was too childish as if he hadn't used his brain before, so I tried to prove him wrong. He Chuan said in a childish voice, it turned out that he was completely wrong. The old man's expression was dull. Father he and mother he were also stunned. Did this child know what he was talking about? Yes, he was completely wrong. He was completely wrong. The old man smiled bitterly and his voice was filled with disappointment, I didn't expect that my years of research would be completely overturned by a child today. I, sigh. I have let down my teacher and my students who respect me. Ah. The two parents were shocked. This old man was the author of the book. In their eyes, someone who could compile and publish a book with such professional knowledge was definitely a great master in the field. Regardless of whether they knew him or not, he was worthy of respect. Moreover, from what he said, his son's scribble was correct. And he had overthrown his theory. The old man was silent for a long time before he looked at He Chuan, little friend, can you tell uncle how you came up with this? Use your brain to think. What else can I think? He Chuan looked at him in confusion, his clear eyes seemed to be asking a question back. Was it very difficult to use your brain to think about these things? This. The old man could not help but be speechless. This was indeed the most essential reason. Some people were called geniuses because they had intelligence and a way of thinking that was beyond the reach of ordinary people. They could achieve higher achievements in their fields at an earlier age. Obviously, he had met one today. And he was definitely a genius among geniuses. However, if he told his students that a child who looked only a few years old had solved a problem that had troubled him for 30 years, no one would believe him, right? The old professor shook his head, if people hadn't seen it with their own eyes, who would believe it? He Chuan's manuscript was very precious. 
It was not an exaggeration to call it the cutting-edge knowledge in this part of the medical field. With the permission of He Chuan and the nod of his parents, the old professor took the manuscript away, organized it, and published it. It was signed by He Chuan. As a result, it caused quite a stir in the field. Many related medical experts went to the old professor to ask who He Chuan was and how he could have such profound insights. When they learned that He Chuan was only a three-year-old child, everyone was shocked and triggered a new wave of enthusiasm. Although most people did not believe that such a genius would exist, the old professor did not need to make up such a story to deceive them, so the name of He Chuan as a child prodigy gradually spread. However, this topic was not popular to the extent that it went out of the circle. After all, there was no real product, no matter how good the theory was, it could not make the public have an impression of it. Therefore, He Chuan's life was still very dull. Every day, he would either read a book or sleep. But his parents began to worry about him going to school. Originally, father he wanted He Chuan to stay in kindergarten. However, mother he did not think that was necessary. Their own child could even solve the problem that had troubled the professor for many years, so what was the point of going to kindergarten? That was a complete waste of time. After all, it was only a place for pre-school education. Father he did not bother about this anymore and began to use his connections to think of ways to get He Chuan to study in primary school. This matter was a little troublesome. It was similar to skipping grades and required pre-school assessment. Moreover, he had missed the start of the school season, so He Chuan's school schedule was delayed by a year. During this time, He Chuan did not sit around. He went to the library every day and read most of the books in it. A year passed in a flash. At the age of four, He Chuan easily passed the skipping test and officially became a member of the primary school. Of course, he did not come here to study. If he were to count the time when he graduated, he would be more than ten years old at that time, and half of his life would be wasted here. So, on the first day of school, when the homeroom teacher asked all the children to go up to the stage to introduce themselves and say their dreams out loud, and each one had sneaked into the principal's office alone. Uncle Principal, I want to skip grades. The principal put on his glasses and smiled gently. Your name is He Chuan, right? He recognized the child who was known as the prodigy at a glance. He Chuan nodded vigorously. Standing behind the desk with only half of his head exposed, it was difficult for him to make eye contact with the adults. The principal moved a chair for him and carried it up. Tell me, why do you want to skip grades? The course is too simple. It's a complete waste of time, He Chuan said bluntly. I want to go to the sixth grade so that I can enter junior high next year. The principal could not help but be dumbfounded. At first, he thought that He Chuan wanted to jump to the second or third grade. To be honest, if this little guy insisted, he would give him two questions to test him. If he could pass the test, he would agree to it. After all, it was not the first time that such a student had completed the first or second grade of elementary school by himself in kindergarten. Although He Chuan was a little young, it wasn't that he couldn't understand. From the time he started reading at the age of three, one year was enough time for the prodigy to understand the two-year elementary school curriculum. But this request to jump from the first grade to the sixth grade was too outrageous. No matter how talented he was, he wouldn't be like this, right? Learning the entire elementary school curriculum in one year. The principal had never heard of such a case in all his years of education. He thought He Chuan was just fooling around and didn't take it to heart. He immediately called the teachers in his class to bring the little guy back. He Chuan still wanted to resist, but the little guy was too weak and couldn't resist at all. But he still said something unconvinced. Principal, just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean no one cannot do it. Who says I can't do it? Do you dare to bet with me? The principal was so angry that he laughed. Coincidentally, a few students outside rushed in to report. 
These were the sixth dot grade elites who were about to participate in the National Primary School Olympiad math competition. They were the group of people with the best math scores in the entire school. Originally, he had planned to personally come up with a question to give them targeted training. It just so happened that he Chuan, this child prodigy, felt that he could jump to the sixth grade and was still so persistent. He would not give up until he was defeated. Then, he would take this opportunity to let him compete. Therefore, the principal directly came up with three mathematical Olympiad questions. In order to let He Chuan suffer, he also deliberately increased the difficulty. Some of the formulas could only be learned in junior high school. Chapter 6 6. Rank 1st, The King of Primary School Student Olympiad Competition You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Chapter 6, Rank 1st, The King of Primary School Student Olympiad Competition Chapter 6, Rank 1st, The King of Primary School Student Olympiad Competition Under the principal's deliberate mixing of ingredients, as expected, the problem became extremely difficult to solve. At least in the eyes of the group of 6th.grade elite students, it was no different from a heavenly book. Each and every one of them were scratching their ears and cheeks, completely unable to think of a way to solve the problem. Ten minutes had passed, but their draft paper was still blank. Only He Chuan did not sit down, nor did he start writing. After he finished reading the problem, he stood to the side and did not move. The principal thought that he had chickened out, so he could not help but laugh and tease, didn't you ask to jump to the sixth grade? Why don't you dare to do it when you see the problem? My legs can't move. He Chuan frowned slightly. After a year of studying hard in the library, his condition seemed to have worsened. Now it seemed that the slightest use of his brain would cause his limbs to fall into short-term mobility disorders. The principal was slightly surprised and quickly asked about it. Only then did he learn that He Chuan had a strange disease that caused his limbs to be intermittently paralyzed. He quickly carried He Chuan to the sofa at the side and poured a glass of water. If you feel very uncomfortable, uncle will call your parents and ask them to take you to the hospital. It's an old problem. Just wait for a while. He Chuan gently shook his head, I'll do the questions first. After saying that, he picked up a pen and paper and quickly wrote down the answers to the three questions. In just two minutes, he had written down the answers to the three questions. He even wrote down a few alternative solutions and the core formulas and theorems that should be used. The principal took a look. Not bad, the result was right, wait. Why are there some symbols here? Holy shit. Isn't this the university's formula? You must be joking. A four-year-old child used the university's formula to solve a problem. He was shocked. He was completely dumbfounded. A few primary school students nearby saw the principal's expression and couldn't help but come over. Hmm. The first way to solve the problem. So that was how it was. It was a formula that they hadn't learned before. No wonder they couldn't solve it. Hmm. The second. What the hell were these symbols? Their expressions started to become the same as the principal's. It was just that the principal was well aware of the shock. And they were ignorant and confused. That afternoon, the principal took each one here and there. First, he went to his home and asked his parents for their opinion, saying that He Chuan's IQ and brain power were far beyond ordinary people, he should not waste time in primary school, and should get a better and more elite education. This was a good thing, father he and mother he naturally would not refuse. The two young people were also very relieved to let the principal take their children away. Then, the principal drove He Chuan to the municipality. The news that their school had a little genius was reported layer by layer, and the deeds that were investigated were shown. This incident caused a serious discussion in the Municipal Education Bureau. After a round of investigation, several meetings were held overnight, but still, no one could make the decision. There was no other reason. He Chuan's experience was too shocking. 
He was only born a week and could already walk. He could talk and sing in six months. He started to talk to adults about his life ideals at the age of one. He solved junior high school's Olympiad math problems at the age of two. He defeated a professional chess player at the age of three. At the age of four, he looked through the entire library and produced a medical manuscript, which was still at the forefront of the field of knowledge. Such talent and ability cannot be described as genius. People believed that he was an alien who had been reincarnated in the wrong place. However, all of this was traceable. That was he clan syndrome that he Chuan suffered from. They could only attribute all of the causes to he Chuan's overactive brain cells. Only this could explain why he Chuan, who was self-taught and only four years old, used university formulas to solve problems. Dot after a few discussions, the city leaders still did not dare to act rashly and immediately reported it to the provincial government. Soon, news came from above. They said that there was no need to rush to arrange He Chuan's future. Let him participate in the Olympics and see how he performed. The Olympics was held as scheduled. This was a national student gathering. Delegations from all over the world would participate in the competition. The competition was extremely fierce. If there was one point difference, it was possible to fall several places. The test paper was set by a well-known math education expert in the country, and it was much more difficult than the entrance examination. Moreover, the Olympiad maths examination was not only about the proficiency of mastering the formula, the most important thing was still the student's ability to think logically. The process was the most important. Sometimes the result was right, the process was all wrong, and you did not get a single point. But if the process was right and the answer was wrong because of careless calculation, then only a small amount of points would be deducted. He Chuan had the deduction system, so it was not a problem at all in this aspect. Moreover, it was only a sixth grade question, so it was not difficult at all. When the examination papers were handed out, he was still the first to finish the paper and walk out of the examination room. When the results came out, several days had passed. He Chuan was waiting in the hotel that was arranged. The principal was the first to bring the news. He wore presbyopia glasses and could not hide his excitement. He pointed at a form that he was holding tightly in his hand. Full marks. In this Olympiad competition, he Chuan beat the four members of the Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen delegations who had also won the first prize. These were the celebrity delegations that had occupied the top of the rankings for many years. It had been a long time since they had changed. Who would have thought that they would be defeated by He Chuan alone this time? Although the team's ranking was held back by a few other students in their school and could not make it onto the list. But with this achievement of being the first in a single person's ranking was enough for the principal to put this honor on the school's bulletin board and publicize it for a few weeks. There was a banquet in the evening, which the Ministry of Education invited all the students who participated in the Olympiad competitions. When all the students saw that the person who got the first place was a kid who was not even half as tall as them. Everyone was shocked. The leading teacher was dumbfounded. The big boss of the Ministry of Education was also dumbfounded. No one had expected it. The most inconspicuous person in the examination hall had now successfully stood in the most dazzling place, becoming an insurmountable mountain. Students who could participate in such a national competition were the most outstanding existences. It was not an exaggeration to say that they were geniuses. But at this moment, under the radiance of He Chuan, a four-year-old child, they appeared to be extremely dim. Life experience increase, evaluation points increase. The familiar voice sounded again after a year. However, He Chuan knew that he did not need to wait so long to hear this news again. Chapter 7 7. Writing Classics to Become Master of Literature and Art You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Chapter 7, Writing Classics to Become Master of Literature and Art Chapter 7, 
writing classics to become master of literature and art there were many media at the awards banquet. What they liked the most was gimmicky reports. Soon, the news of the four-year-old super child prodigy winning the Olympiad competition spread like wildfire under their promotion. The words, he chuan, began to appear on television, in newspapers, and on the internet. Countless passers.by who accidentally saw this article were dumbfounded. This led to a round of discussion on, what I was doing when I was four years old. As the saying goes, a layman watches a show, but an expert knows the ropes. Some experts and scholars also came forward and began to analyze the various physical, psychological, and social factors, showing how rare it was for a four-year-old like He Chuan to win an Olympiad competition for a primary school student, and it was an event that could not be replicated. When an event was certified by the authorities, the credibility of the event also increased. At this time, He Chuan's value began to soar. The towels he used and the food he ate were all hyped up to sky.high prices. Many people held the idea that, if my child eats the food they the genius eat, their IQ will also increase and rush to buy them. For a time, many products became in short supply. As the topic of Hichuan continued to rise, the country began to pay attention to this young genius. The relevant leaders directly went to Hichuan's family and began to discuss with his parents about Hichuan's future path. It was a waste for such a gifted child to walk the path of an ordinary person. Therefore, they expressed their hope that Hichuan could join the school of the gifted young, which was equivalent to directly attending a university's preparatory course. Not only was there no tuition fee, but there was also an additional scholarship of hundreds of thousands of yuan every year. When He Chuan saw this opportunity that came knocking on his door, he naturally would not let it go, so he agreed without hesitation. Thus, not long after, he went to Hong Kong alone. A slight increase in social status, the prodigy achievement has been unlocked. Evaluation points increased significantly. The reincarnation seal once again sent a notification. He Chuan smiled slightly. If the current situation continued, he might really be able to get a B grade. However, he did not become complacent because of this. Don't indulge when in favorable conditions, and you won't die at bad times. This was his motto. There was still a long way to go. If the trajectory of his life went downhill and he ended up begging for a living in his later years, his final score would also be lowered. Then, he went to understand the situation of the genius class. As the name implied, those who could stay in the genius class were all geniuses. The oldest was only 15 years old. The youngest was originally 13 years old, but now he was 4 years old, he Chuan. There was no deception here. Everyone was studying seriously. Everyone worked very hard and the atmosphere was very good. He Chuan was a little behind in the beginning. After all, he joined in the middle of the semester and his knowledge was limited. Although he had read all the books in the libraries, he was not omniscient. However, with the help of the deduction system, he quickly caught up and overtook them. In less than half a month, he became the best student in the genius class. Everyone looked at him in a new light. The higher dot ups valued him even more and approved several hundred thousand scholarships for him one after another. However, He Chuan was preparing to do scientific research to solve his illness. This amount of money was nothing at all. However, as a student, he could not get too much funding, so he could only think of ways to earn money himself. He Chuan looked at literary and musical works. In fact, other than his identity as a reincarnator, he had another identity, which was a transmigrator from Earth. At the moment, he had reincarnated into a parallel world on Earth, but there were still many big and small differences on the whole. Compared to the Earth he had once lived on, it was just that the general direction was similar. Both belonged to the low-dot-level technology civilization. In short, Although He Chuan was familiar with many of the epoch-making scholars that appeared here were similar to those on Earth, there were also some aspects that have been lost. The history of each country and the current world structure had changed. 
It was unknown which historical stage had changed and lead to such a result. At the very least, there was no The Lord of the Rings, no Harry Potter, and no A Song of Ice and Fire in the literature history. In musical history, there was no Fate Symphony by Beethoven, no The Magic Flute by Mozart, and no Nocturne by Chopin. It would be a pity if these famous and magnificent works of centuries did not appear in this world. He Chuan lamented. BVEC he suddenly had an impulse in his heart. He had to take these legendary things that leave a deep impression out of his mind so that the people of this world could understand the beauty of his past. There are many benefits to having such active brain cells. I can mobilize my memories as I wish. He Chuan chuckled and made a plan in his mind, I'll leave 10% of the copyright income as research funds. The rest will be donated to the poor areas. The money in the reincarnated world was useless anyway. It was enough to ensure that his research would be successful. If he donated it, he might be able to gain a good reputation and improve his evaluation points. So, why not? Therefore, in the next few years, he Chuan spent his spare time writing. To be more precise, he copied. It was just a little different. It was a product of his use of the deduction system to polish his writing. Many of the plots had a little change. Strictly speaking, Harry Potter was no longer the original Harry Potter, but the world was still the same world. It was a story that could make the people of this parallel earth feel that it was not a story from far away. One by one, the classics compiled by his hands, caused a great stir in the outside world. Copyright cooperation and adaptation invitations came in waves. He Chuan directly counted the money until his hands went soft, and his bank card deposits directly increased from six figures to twelve figures. 120 billion renminbi. It was roughly equivalent to 18 billion US dollars. This was a fortune that ordinary people did not even dare to think about. He did not forget his original intention. He took out 90% of the money as promised and established the Charity Foundation for Poverty Alleviation. More than 100 billion were vaporized in an instant. But because of this, He Chuan became a world-famous great writer, great musician, and a great philanthropist. The life trajectory has changed. The Master of Literature and Art achievement has been unlocked, the evaluation points have increased significantly. The notification this time was slightly different, and the rewards were especially generous. According to his estimation, the now 8.year.old He Chuan should have already reached the B grade for reincarnations. However, He Chuan did not stop. Since things were developing so smoothly, he might as well rush forward and see where his limits were. The Lord of the Rings is an epic high dot fantasy novel by English author and scholar J. R. R. Tolkien. Harry Potter is a series of seven fantasy novels written by British author J. K. Rowling. A Song of Ice and Fire is a series of epic fantasy novels by the American novelist and screenwriter George R. R. Martin. Also known as Symphony No. 5 in C minor, Op. 67. Chapter 8. 8. Natural and Man-Made Disasters, Famine Strikes You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8. Chapter 8, Natural and Man-Made Disasters, Famine Strikes Chapter 8, Natural and Man-Made Disasters, Famine Strikes At the Age of 8, He Chuan's fame had reached its peak. He had been known as a prodigy and genius since he was four years old. Now, he was being sought after by countless people as a master of literature and art, and his fans were spread all over the world. This name had already been deeply rooted in the hearts of people all over the world. His deeds have become a more legendary existence than the protagonists in his novels. Everyone thinks that only legends can write legends. However, there is a deviation from what was known. All the legends heard in the past were in books. Now, there was a legend living in the world. This was what they feel was the most wonderful place. Many people came with admiration and curiosity. They wanted to see He Chuan. However, after he graduated from the genius class, he ignored the admission notice of many famous universities and completely disappeared. 
At this time, He Chuan had already started to solve the difficult scientific research problems. He started to research solutions to his illness. During the few years he studied in the genius class, he crammed a lot of knowledge. Now, he had a vague idea of the reason for his illness. It was very complicated. It couldn't be explained in one or two sentences. In general, it was a biological mystery. It wasn't easy to solve this mystery. Even with the help of the system, it was still difficult. Parallel Earth Calendar Year 2014 He Chuan was nine years old and was running around doing experiments. The old professor he met in the library came when he heard the news. Using this relationship, he successfully rented a top laboratory in the country. During this period, he spent countless materials and experimented several times. Unfortunately, there was no progress on the topic related to He Clan syndrome. However, there are some new breakthroughs in the study of biology as a whole, but for now, the field of application is unknown. Parallel Earth Calendar 2015 It is like the end of the world. Various natural disasters occur frequently in the country. Earthquakes, droughts, torrential rains, ecological collapse, and grain production had been reduced by 90%, and livestock farming has also been hit. Parallel Earth Calendar Year 2016 The country's grain reserves were in short supply. It fell into a period of poverty and weakness, and the economy was depressed. Parallel Earth Calendar Year 2017 He Chuan was also affected. He did not have enough food to eat, so he took the initiative to take advantage of a new breakthrough in biology. He stopped his original research and began to look for ways to cultivate high dot yielding hybrid grain. This year, He Chuan was 12 years old. He looked a little mature, but now he was in a wheelchair. Due to the fact that scientific research consumed too much energy, he was now paralyzed for almost a third of the time every day. Now, he could only be pushed by his assistant on the streets that were no longer as prosperous as before. There were traces of disasters everywhere. The streets were dirty and messy. There was almost no place to stay. No one came to clean it up. He asked softly. Beside him, his assistant put on a mask for He Chuan, and at the same time, he replied, at the beginning, they had been sending people to clean it up, but not long after they were done, there was a flood. After that, there was a series of earthquakes. The disaster did not stop. Now, there are shortages of supplies and food everywhere. There is really no choice but to leave it alone for the time being. He Chuan nodded his head in understanding. His gaze swept across the street. There were not many shops that were open for business. There were only some temporary stations that distributed daily necessities. However, he did not see anything related to food. It seems that the problem is very serious. He Chuan sighed softly. Looking at the empty office building that reached into the clouds, he could not help but feel a little melancholic. The assistant pushed him and told him what had happened in the outside world in the past two years. The impact of this natural disaster was unprecedented. In the two years since the grain production was greatly reduced, the country had also made some moves. The number of imports that should be increased had also increased. The adjustments that should be made had all been adjusted, but the effect was always limited. After all, it was a large country with more than a billion people. The amount of food consumed every day was very frightening. It was unrealistic to rely entirely on import trade to solve the problem. Moreover, the impact of natural disasters was far beyond what can be seen. Natural and man-made disasters were always linked together. All kinds of disasters and the shortage of food supply have caused many people to fall into panic. At this time, who would still have the mood to work? The output has plummeted in all walks of life. The consequences were endless. Of course, the main problem was food. More than a billion people need to be fed. They don't have enough to eat every day, which was what needs to be solved. But the consequences of this natural disaster were very serious. 
It was no exaggeration to say that it has changed the environment of the land in the country to a certain extent. Large areas of the affected land were no longer able to grow the original crops. Now, even if they wanted to replant, there was no way. Unless they could develop seeds that were more adaptable and produced more, saving the people of the country from suffering. If I can solve this problem, there will definitely be a lot of evaluation points. He Chuan tried to stretch his body and found that his right hand had recovered. So he picked up his phone and made a call. I need an experimental plot. Over the years, as He Chuan's fame grew, he also got to know many people. Among them, there was no lack of high dot level leaders of the state. The higher dot ups attached great importance to such a talent like him. Naturally, they would not refuse this request. What surprised He Chuan was that the state seemed to attach too much importance to him. When he arrived at his destination, he found that he had not only taken over the experimental plot but also a professional art D team was at his disposal. It was full of agricultural bigwigs, all of whom were full of glory. But now, they had become his subordinates. This honor was not something that ordinary people could have. Moreover, when the country was at its poorest, they had given him 30 million research funds. The leader said that no matter how much progress was made or how much money was invested, the country would give its full support. With such help, the experiment naturally went very smoothly. Dot, hybrid rice A and B, the survival rate is less than 5%. Hybrid rice A and C, yield per is less than 300 kilograms. Hybrid rice B and C, unable to adapt, develop, to the following types of land. Hybrid rice G1 and N7, perfect match. Looking at the results of the system's deduction, He Chuan did not need to do too many experiments to find the most suitable hybrid rice seed. The rest of the matters would be left to the group of agricultural bigwigs to do. In the end, in just half a year's time, the first generation of hybrid rice was bred, yielding 2,000 caddies per mu. One had to know that the maximum yield of ordinary rice growing in high dot yielding fields was only less than 1,400 caddies. Now, the first round of cultivation had achieved a 50% increase in yield. As soon as this news was reported to the higher UPS, they were shocked. Was this a joke? One mu is equal to 1.15th of a hectare, around 0.165 acres. Chapter 9 9. National Scientists' Achievements, New Viruses Sweep Across the Globe You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 Chapter 9. National Scientists' Achievements, New Viruses Sweep Across the Globe. Chapter 9. National Scientists' Achievements, New Viruses Sweep Across the Globe. How long has it been? Other research projects often take 10 to 20 years. Which one does not need a long period to accumulate experience, do trial and error, and ultimately achieve victory? They have even planned to sign very disadvantageous import treaties with other big agricultural countries in order to ensure that the people at the bottom of the food chain were not endangered by hunger. As a result, He Chuan, this brat, directly turned into a savior, how many months did it take? Although it seemed impossible, when the golden rice was placed in front of them, they had no choice but to believe it. In fact, He Quan still felt that the progress was too slow. If it were not for the fact that plants had a specific growth cycle, he would have wanted to solve this problem in 10 days. But now he had no choice but to take it step by step. Two months later, the second generation of fast dot growing hybrid rice was introduced. It yields 3,000 caddies per mu. Although the taste was not very good, the requirements for the various values of the sown land were very low. In a word, the vitality was strong, the yield was high. It could completely be popularized on a large scale and solve the food problem. Not only that. In the next two years, He Chuan also found the first dot generation hybrid varieties of other foods. They included sorghum, peanut, corn, wheat, and a total of 127 agricultural products. The results were remarkable. 
the research and development team compiled all of Hichuan's contributions into a book. It was published in the form of a thesis. The whole country was shocked. He was once again praised by countless people and stood in the most dazzling place. He received the highest science and technology award, the Wolf Prize in Agriculture, the Breakthrough Prize in Life Sciences, and a series of other top awards. In October, he was awarded the highest honor in the country, the, the Medal of the Republic, and was named the pioneer of agricultural hybrid research. He became the most attention-grabbing news figure of the year. Social status has been greatly improved. The National Scientist achievement has been unlocked. The final rating has been upgraded. He Chuan's goal had been achieved. At this moment, he had retired after winning merit and continued to focus on his research on He Clan Syndrome. However, the topic about him in the outside world had not ended because of this. This heroic feat of turning the tide and saving countless citizens from the disaster could be said to have added another thick stroke to his short 15 years of life. Many people began to understand He Chuan's life at this time. Although the details were few, each achievement and contribution made people feel as if they were looking up at a high mountain. Because they discovered that. No matter what He Chuan did, he could achieve extremely high achievements in a very short time. This could not be described as genius. No words could describe his talent. This was a person who surpassed common sense and broke common sense. Who else in the world could compare with him? Over the next six months, all kinds of agricultural products entered the market one after another. With the replenishment of such a large amount of food, the people returned to the peaceful life of the past. Although from time to time they were also affected by natural disasters. But after having an unusually abundant supply of food, everyone no longer worried that they would not live to see the next day. But a bigger crisis was looming. A global outbreak of the virus. The source of infection was unknown. Dot people infected with the new virus have terrible symptoms and high mortality rates. As a last resort, many governments have adopted a confinement policy to prevent the disease from developing. He Chuan's country has used a similar approach. But now, after the disaster, many places in the country have not had time to clean up the environment, and sanitation conditions were very poor. So, soon after the virus outbreak, the number of patients reached an alarming number of hundreds of thousands. The most terrible thing was that the disease has a short incubation period. During this period, there was no sign that you were infected. Because of this, the scope of the infection quickly expanded, and soon spread throughout the country. When He Chuan heard the news, it was already the second week of the epidemic. Worldwide, more than 20 million people were diagnosed and 4 million died. According to the outbreak cycle of the new virus, the remaining people were likely to die within this week. Countless experts and researchers were helpless against this. Because according to their research, the speed of mutation of the virus was astonishing. Moreover, the natural drug resistance was very strong. Ordinary drugs could not even alleviate the disease, and there was no possibility of treatment in the short term. According to speculation, even if the world's most advanced group of people were to work together day and night to develop a vaccine, it would at least take more than a year. But based on the current spread of the epidemic, not to mention a year, I'm afraid that in half a year, there won't be more than a million people alive on Earth. A month passed quickly. The Earth's population fell by 10% it was just as they predicted. Conventional methods couldn't stop the spread of the disease. There were too many ways for this virus to spread. It was useless to lock yourself in your home. Mosquito bites and plant pollination could inadvertently infect people with the new virus. Once infected, it was no different from being sentenced to death. There was no way to effectively treat it with existing methods. The best medicine could only give people two more days to live. The people of the entire planet were in a life dot and dot death crisis. No one could maintain personal integrity. Under the shadow of death, despair and helplessness filled their hearts. In the lab, 
He Chuan was wearing a thick protective suit. He pressed a button next to him and sent over a dozen virus samples to be frozen. Then, he left the lab and entered the disinfection room. He cleaned himself three times before he walked out and sat on the sofa in the lounge. At this moment, a nerve that had been tense for a long time was finally released. However, what followed next were the limbs that gradually lost consciousness. He Chuan was already used to his current state. He lowered his head and bit the button on his collar. The development of the special medicine has been successful. Send someone to get the data. I can't move now. Soon, the door was opened by a group of researchers surrounded by soldiers. They saluted He Chuan in unison. Then, they followed the instructions and placed a stack of thick papers printed on the table into the safe. Take the computer hard drive as well. Inside is the result of my fifth test today. The virus mutation rate has been suppressed by the drug. He Chuan looked at them tiredly, as soon as the pharmaceutical factory is built, start production as soon as possible. You can decide how long the clinical trial period will be. My personal suggestion is to put it in large batches directly, and try to get everyone vaccinated in the shortest time possible. As he spoke, he raised his voice, this is a vaccine for the eradication, not prevention. The faster you move, the fewer people will die. Don't wait until the next round of virus mutation, understand? Don't worry, comrade He Chuan. An old man bent his body forward and held He Chuan's hand, leave the rest to us. I'll try to get them to skip some procedures that can be omitted. He Chuan nodded lightly and closed his eyes wearily. Chapter 10 10. I have a dream you are listening at novel full audio. Chapter 10. Chapter 10. I have a dream. Chapter 10. I have a dream. Parallel Earth calendar year 2020. Two months after the outbreak of the new virus, the special drug was released. It was He Chuan, a well. known writer, musician, biologist, agricultural scientist, and many other honors. Independent research and development. After the results were released, the world was in an uproar. At first, there were some countries that did not believe it. After all, there were so many countries with better medical conditions, and their experts couldn't do anything about it. How could you get the special medicine out in such a short time? But as the number of cases in He Chuan's country decreased day by day, the major news started to report the situation, and when the people recovered, they were all speechless. Then, at this time, they filed a patent application with He Chuan. They were willing to pay a high price to obtain the information needed to make the vaccine. He Chuan did not refuse. A year later, the new virus disappeared completely. It became the second virus to be completely defeated by humans after smallpox. No one had expected it. After saving his own country's people, He Chuan saved the whole world. Social status has been greatly improved. The world.class scientist achievement has been unlocked. The final rating has been raised. It was also during this period that universities all over the world extended an olive branch to He Chuan. Harvard, Oxford, and Stanford were all among them. However, this time, they were no longer looking for him to be a student. Instead, they had invited He Chuan to be a visiting professor at their school. Other than that, the major scientific research institutions had also sent invitations. They were willing to allocate research resources and laboratories for He Chuan. In order to have a chance to communicate with He Chuan. However, He Chuan rejected everyone. Today, after receiving a huge amount of patent fees, he was worth more than 10 billion US dollars. He was already in the top 100 of the global Forbes wealth list. With so much money, it was enough to support him to buy all the top equipment. He no longer has the worry of not having money. He Chuan could finally devote himself to his research. He was now 16 years old. He was only four years away from the end of his life. His physical condition was getting worse and worse. With just a little bit of thinking or using the deduction system to calculate, it would not take long before he was paralyzed. 
He had to solve this problem as soon as possible so that he could continue his life and improve his final reincarnation score. One year later, He Chuan encountered a bottleneck. As he studied more and more deeply, he felt that science was more and more formidable. Some people said that the end of science was theology. Originally, He Chuan did not care about this. But when the bell of death was approaching, he was still troubled by numerous problems and was at a loss about the disease, he felt that this statement had a slight possibility. Could it be that, he clan syndrome was really a trick that God used to play on him? His cells were tens of times more active than others and there was also the intermittent paralysis of his limbs. It was clearly two completely unrelated bodily reactions. How did they come together? The more he thought about it, the more he could not understand. The deduction system also did not have an answer. After all, the deduction could only help him verify the process, not directly obtain the results. Otherwise, he could directly deduce how I should treat my disease, then everything will be fine. More than half a year has passed. He Chuan on a similarly boring night slumped on the sofa. No way. No way at all. From a theoretical point of view, this disease was completely unsolvable. There was a limit to the number of brain cells one can use in one's life. When all the brain cells lost their activity, as the host, he would definitely die. Whether it was transplanting other people's cells or suppressing the activity of one's own cells, even if these two methods were technically sufficient and could be realized according to the deduction system's judgment, he would not live to be 20 years old. Is there a limit to the human body's genes? He Chuan clenched his fists. To be honest. Although with his current social status and wealth, the final rating would definitely be above B. But if it ended just like that, he Chuan always felt a sense of unwillingness in his heart. He had a vague feeling that this illness of his was the key to opening a certain shackle. As long as he found a way to solve it, there would definitely be unexpected gains. A thought suddenly flashed through his mind. Who said that people have to die? Since the end of my disease is death, why don't I just modify the ending? When the time comes, will the existence of the disease still have an impact? If you can't get rid of it, just accept it. He Chuan's thinking changed very quickly. So, in the year 2023 of the Parallel Earth Calendar, when the world sent representatives to celebrate the 18.year.old He Chuan's coming of age, through live broadcasts by the media, he put forward a sensational point of view. I have a dream. I want to transcend birth, old age, sickness, and death. I want to make human civilization becomes immortal. I want to unlock the gene lock that restricts human life. The people sitting there were either high officials or top scientists. They never dreamed. One day, a genius who surpassed the wisdom of the century would be able to speak like a madman. Everyone was in disbelief. But everyone was silent again. No one mocked or questioned. If it were anyone else, even if it was a country's president or the top few people in the field, they would say the same thing. They would just treat it as if they were drunk and talking nonsense. But who was this person in front of them? He Chuan. The new virus that all the infectious diseases and biology bigwigs couldn't solve was defeated by him in a week. It seemed. Dot this kind of ridiculous words, coming from his mouth, wasn't it believable? He Chuan's calm but extremely clear voice sounded again. I'm not that great. Perhaps you don't know, but I have a special illness. It keeps my brain working at a high speed, but it also takes away my life. Now, I've reached the end of my life. In another two years, this world will no longer belong to me. At this point, his voice paused. Everyone's heart also hung up. Two years. It was neither long nor short. For a genius like He Chuan, there were too many things he could do. But for an ordinary person's life, it was too short. Moreover, he will only be twenty years old at that time. A twenty-year-old young man, who had yet to experience the beauty of this world, was going to die just like that. 
However, I'm not pessimistic. Life will find its own way to flourish. Regardless of whether it's far away, regardless of the length of time, aren't we all doing the same thing now? Many people felt the same way. They had devoted all of their efforts to scientific research, regardless of the results, regardless of the gains and losses, in order to allow the human race to go further and further, allowing the continuation of civilization. These few words directly spoke to their hearts. He Chuan smiled indifferently, everyone, now I want to be selfish for one last time. I don't have any salary for this research. All the funds will be invested in research and development. For you, it is definitely a decision of one. Sided investment. Now, who wants to work with me? The first person to respond was the world's most authoritative and powerful laboratory. CERN, European Nuclear Research Council. Isn't it just money? We won't starve to death even if we earn less for two years. The five permanent representatives of the United Nations also expressed their support. After the banquet ended, an emergency joint meeting was held. Finally, the decision was made to recruit the top 100 scientists in various fields from all over the world. Plan Unlocked was launched.